Good evening. It wasn't quite the miracle on the Hudson, but a pilot made a brave and lucky landing today, aiming for the Susquehanna River so as not to jeopardize the lives of families playing in a nearby park. Suzanne is just back from the scene. Suzanne? Larry, it happened around 2.45 this afternoon. The plane coming down on an island in the river that happened to be just a couple hundred yards from the firehouse. First Lieutenant Bob George was headed to a fire in Masonville when something unusual caught his eye. A small plane following the Susquehanna River dropped below the trees and didn't come back up. Sitting there getting ready to pull out to go to a fire call and you're thinking about that and then all of a sudden you look up and you see a plane coming down and it's like this ain't good. After crossing the river, which was unusually low, he found this Piper Comanche crashed in the brush. The pilot, thankfully conscious and alive. He just said that his motor had he lost his lost power and uh, found a place to put it down. <laughs> pilot Milton Petzold of Bainbridge says he made the rough landing after his engine lost pressure. The pilot told his rescuers he had planned on landing in the park behind me, but as soon as he saw that there were children playing, he headed for the Susquehanna River instead. George says the pilot did a pretty good job making a landing that turned out to be a lifesaver. You think more of how bad it shocked you after it's over with, you know, the initially to do what you got to do. And yeah, no serious injuries, good news there. In fact, Lieutenant George says if the plane had had an airbag, the pilot probably could have walked away without a scratch. However, he did get a cut on his face and was taken by helicopter to Bassett Hospital in Cooperstown. Big sigh of relief tonight <laughs> yeah. in Sydney. 